Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I recorded yesterday like a little intro but I was in a rush because I was going to the hospital just to get a growth scan for the baby. So I don't really remember exactly what I said or what I didn't say. What we're gonna do today um, is unpack this massive luggage over here. It's full of baby stuff that my mom brought me from Spain alongside with this massive bag as well. It's full of like toys and more things that I will be needing eventually. But I will show you everything. Um, I'm sorry if I look a bit weird. <laughs> I have to put some lipstick on so I could, you know, feel more put together, I guess. <laughs> because this is how I, it feels like to be pregnant almost 32 weeks I'm gonna show you a little bump update let me just put this down let's see so there you go, it's big it's a big boy but yeah guys, nothing's wrong with the baby by the way So four weeks ago, I think it was, whenever I was 20 weeks more or less They measured my belly and the baby supposedly um, measured 27.5 centimeters. So like three, three or four days ago I had my 31 weeks appointment And the midwife measured the belly as well But it measured 32 centimeters, Which Apparently it's a really big jump, like if I show you the if I show you the graphics you can see there. So he was here on my 28th week um, appointment and now 32 centimeters on my 31 week appointment. She was like I'm not concerned, like these measurements are not like to be worried about, they're not accurate. But um, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't send you for a growth scan. So she sent me and I had it like yesterday and they measured the baby. He is in the 50th centile, I think he was. Uh, just in the middle basically, like not too big, not too small, perfect sizing. So now he's back into, into the lines basically, between the lines which is good news because that means I don't have to do a gestational uh, diabetes um, test or something like that it's called um, it's a drink that you need to to drink basically that it has some sugar in it and then they need to uh, draw some blood from you to check if you have gest gestational diabetes I think it's called so, all good. Now, I'm gonna be showing you, I think I'm gonna be sitting on the floor. So, uh, excuse me, I think I'm gonna put a pillow because it's a bit hard. Alright, so I'm gonna be showing you now the stuff that my mom brought me. Let's gonna see. So the first thing she brought me is a baby monitor. Uh, most of the things are hand down from my cousin basically my aunt just had one kid and she had all these expensive things that she's just used once she brought me this monitor to check on the baby so I'm happy that it has like its own monitor instead of having to download an app on your phone um, she had this also which is like a postpartum belly bump to hold everything together in place once you give birth I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can because there's loads of loads of things. Then she got me as well this support belt. She got me this little uh, cute set that is like perfume. It's really nice because I can't reuse really this for like putting nappies or other stuff. It's from the brand Suavinex. I don't know if you well if you have it here. So she got me nappy cream, some baby perfume that smells so good, some shampoo and as well some lotion. So it looks like this. 
because the perfume is really tiny she bought me as well like a bigger one which is like a hundred milliliters one <laughs> so thank you um, it smells really really good for some reason here in UK they don't sell or at least I haven't seen it in the supermarket like Boots or like Tesco anywhere they don't sell baby perfumes which I don't know I thought it was a thing because in Spain all my life Anyway, uh, the next thing is this, it's called Gusilu. <laughs> it needs uh, some batteries, uh, but apparently it's like the sleepy mode and it has also like the awake mode. I think it's like a light, like night light kind of thing. She got me as well like a baby book that is like soft. He can, I don't know, bite on these things. It's really nice for him to have. So he just has a ton of stuff and you put it on the pram so he is entertaining himself basically I've got these two other things it's a monkey so soft and these teethers basically they are fruits so we have grapes, apple and I'm guessing this looks like a strawberry but it's yellow so I don't know we've got oh, another one of these this is an elephant she got me like a set of bottles from the same brand, I think it's Fabinex as well. Yeah, from the same brand. So it comes with three bottles, different sizing for different ages. Every nipple from the bottle is different. And it came with for the formula. So basically you prepare the formula, you leave it there and you take it with you in your nappy bag or like maternity bag. It came as well with a spoon for food and it came with this to put in the pram. This has as well a little... Uh, how is it called? I forgot guys. Um, a dummy or pacifier depending how you call it, where you're from. And it came as well with this that is to attach the dummy to the cloth so if it drops the dummy like it won't go to the floor or anywhere else uh, she got me as well this one it's another um, dummy clipper thing and then my mom got me back in Spain this this is to put like fruit or like other kind of foods for the baby so he can chew it on it and get like bits but without choking if that makes sense so it's easier for the baby to try new foods right so i'm gonna put all of this away quickly and i'm gonna show you two boxes that i have there so my aunt also gave me this sterilizer of uh, bottles my mom brought me man the entire full thingy like the box included and everything, like it's this big really. So I'm guessing we're gonna put it in the kitchen. Um, I will need an adapter because everything has like the EU black. So I will have to buy a few adapters. <laughs> and then she also gave me her pump, breast pump, which is not in the box anymore because I, I wanted to try it out. And now the final huge luggage it's probably full of like clothes there was so many hand-me-downs basically from my cousin and also from myself I guess like things that my grandma needed and things like that so this is gonna be for the pram it's humongous so it's gonna be like for whenever he's a bit older but it's really cool because he has like this holes here for like attaching the things from the bra. I don't know, it's super cozy and has like this kind of like mitten gloves you can remove and you can remove as well the arms if you want to. Then my mom got me this one to three months, two to three months full on jacket because here it's gonna be super cold whenever he's born 
and then this other jacket which is so cute it's three to six then we've got some these muslim squares or barbing clothes we've got some unrolling things so this is for the crib so you put the baby in the middle basically um so he doesn't roll and suffocate this nappy changing mat so really cute as well i've got a few pajamas they are super soft this is the thing that my grandma needed it's like a hat looks so cute and it comes with um like some leotards kind of thing and it comes as well with like a jumper which is so tiny <laughs> and it comes what is this oh more leotards i've got more that were needed as well this yellow one is basically the same thing like it's just like a jumper with leotards it even has laces <laughs> and then this one i'm not sure if this one was needed or not it's basically the same thing and then has these cute little birds oh we've got as well this <laughs> teeny tiny shoes we've got some socks as well so cute oops these were from my cousin and I think these were mine. We've got here a little jacket. And then um, some um, rompers, I think it's called. This is one, two, three. So it's gonna be perfect. We've got here some trousers. Everything is like, oh well, this is bigger. This is like for six months. And then I think this is more for like summertime, looks bigger. We've got a little jacket that was knitted as well. So tiny. Um we've got here this little t-shirt. It looks like bigger as well. But I'm guessing it's like six months. Yeah, six months. It's a bit big. Okay, we've got here another knitted jumper with its little leotards. We've got some more pyjamas. So we've got like then super soft ones. And then we've got more like thinner ones. This is another pyjama, which is really cute, super soft. It has this little bear attached. The softest material, seriously. So cozy. Perfect for winter. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is a full on outfit as well. Oh, it has as well a t shirt. There's some things that I haven't even checked, guys. <laughs> um, this looks quite big though, like six months, I guess. But yeah, it's like a little jacket with some trousers and it has like a t shirt inside, like a long sleeve t shirt, I'm guessing. Yeah. Super soft as well. But it's for whenever baby is bigger. There's another little knitted jacket here. So cute. I don't know if you can see it. I think this is another PJs. And then I've got here like a... Oh my gosh, this is another kind of... Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a full-on outfit. It's super soft as well. Oh my god, it's so cozy. Right, it has like its own long sleeve t-shirt as well. It's whenever he's six months old. Yeah, so it's a full on uh, jump, jump, jumpsuit? No, what's it called? Like a romper kind of thing. But it has uh, like a jacket with it. Then some tights. And then we've got this little pyjama set that is like, I think it's a pyjama set but it's super soft and it has the pants and the t-shirt so this one is empty this side we're gonna open now the second side okay in here we've got two cups i think it is called we've got some nappies that they are 
size zero, like the most newborn nappies you've ever seen. <laughs> so tiny. We've got some little booties. Look. There's these ones in white. And there's these other ones that are like brown as well. But different type. And then we've got this thing that is to put either on the crib or in the pram so he gets entertained and then we've got two more toys that they will probably need some batteries let me quickly show you a few things that i've been collecting basically oh by the way guys as well um before i forget i'm not sure if they do this in other countries but if you're in the UK I would recommend you to sign up for the Emma Diaries program I think it's called um, so you get uh, three free packages I think one is for like whenever you're pregnant the second one is like for baby like before it comes and the third one is like for after they come with like a little samples like for example one of the packages came with uh, two samples of like pseudo cream the other one came with like uh, size 1 nappies from Pampers and it comes with like coupons as well it came with cream for uh, the belly uh, which I really liked I think it's butter, cocoa, cocoa butter not sure from this brand so this is the oil it came this one and it came another one that was the cream I love it then it came for example this is like a pad that I will be able to try it came some vitamins I've got another one of these pseudo cream it came with this full of like oops, bumper snappies I think there's like 22 in here a size 1 so I'm literally gonna be packing these to the hospital and just a few last things for example yesterday I got a petty bottle I've got this Hakka manual pump whenever you breastfeed from one booby the other one keeps leaking so instead of like wasting that milk i thought that i could put this in the other in the other boob and whatever leaks i will put it in a bag i have some breast milk bags as well and i'm gonna be freezing in case will needs to feed the baby with a bottle which we will do for sure as well i've got this as well which is gonna be like to wash the baby's hair or scalp sometimes baby gets these scars in the head this petty bottle is like silicone so you just put water i think and then you know you take off that and then just spray yourself down there and then today i've got this blanket from amazon it's gray in one side with white stars and in the other side is white with gray stars you can tell it's super soft blanket um i'm gonna wash it and i'm gonna be bringing that to the hospital because it looks super warm this is gonna be all for today i'm gonna answer one question that i was asked from amy have you had an embarrassing or tmi symptoms like excess gas farting during your pregnancy i'm gonna be answering this one question and then the rest if you have any more questions just write them down in the comment section and i will be answering them so the answer to that uh first of all thank you for commenting and asking that question amy um the answer for that is yes <laughs> mainly in the beginning of the pregnancy um not more farting but like super bloated like it felt like whenever you have like a massive lunch and you drink a lot of water so you just feel like huge your stomach like it cannot get bigger than that more bloated than that so i felt like that like pretty much since the beginning it was very uncomfortable actually and then you're you just get confused with bloating and baby bump i guess you literally jump from one thing to another and you're like okay is this a baby bump or is it gas <laughs> but yeah it was pretty uncomfortable let's say and embarrassing 
I'm not sure if I had any embarrassing thing yet. I will have to think about that. If I come up with something that I remember that it was embarrassing, apart from my baby brain, um, I will let you know in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Click in the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you really like the content. And I'll keep you posted. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys. Bye.